If you plan on doing any sort of compositing, for example, adding your animation on top of another video or adding glows and effects, you will first need to export your animation with a transparent background. Adobe Animate's long list of export settings can be quite overwhelming, but in this video, I'll show you two simple ways to export your animation with a transparent background. Before we get into it, it helps to understand that transparency is also known as an alpha channel. This is in addition to the red, green, and blue, or RGB color channels that are usually found in video and image files. This means that when you're picking a file type, you need one that supports RGBA, red, green, blue, and alpha. Let's head into Adobe Animate where I'll show you the export process right from the beginning. I've got a simple animation of Jaden running and the cats popping up, and I want to export this with a transparent background. The first thing we need to do is make sure we don't have a solid background on any of our layers, like this one right here. If you do, you can either delete it or turn it into a guide layer, because guide layers are not included in renders. The stage color, which you can see here in the properties panel, doesn't make a difference in this case. Now let's go up to File, Export, and select Export Video or Media. In the pop-up menu that appears, render size is set to the size of your stage by default. But keep in mind that because Adobe Animate uses vector graphics, you can change this to whatever size you want without losing quality. This checkbox below render size tells Adobe Animate to ignore the stage color and create an alpha channel, which you now know means transparency. This is exactly what we want, so make sure to tick the box. Span lets you export specific sections of your animation if you want to pick a frame or a time range, but we're going to keep entire movie selected because I want to export the full length of my animation. This next part is important, so make sure you're paying attention to the format and preset. Remember that we need something with RGBA to export our animation with a transparent background. Most compressed video formats, like H.264, only support RGB without the alpha channel. So even with generate alpha channel selected, your render won't have a transparent background. I'm going to change the format to QuickTime because QuickTime is an uncompressed format that supports RGBA. Going over to the preset dropdown menu, basically anything that says with alpha will work, but these all require Adobe Media Encoder. Luckily, the default animate preset does support RGBA, does not require Adobe Media Encoder, and works perfectly. I personally use this one all the time, so let's select Default Animate as our preset. I also recommend choosing an output location, because anytime I don't, Adobe Animate puts the exported file somewhere completely random. I've got the same folder that my working file is in selected, which is what I want, so I'm going to click Save and click Export. It's worth noting that the built-in media player on your computer might not be able to open the QuickTime file that we just created, and that's because it's a completely uncompressed video file. However, any editing or compositing software like After Effects or Final Cut Pro should have no problem importing and using that QuickTime file. And that covers exporting video with a transparent background. But I promise I'd show you two ways. So now we're going to export an image sequence with a transparent background. Once again, we'll go up to File and Export, but this time we'll select Export Movie. Next, we want to select PNG sequence as the file format because PNGs can store alpha channels. Before clicking save, I recommend creating a new folder to store the images. Each frame of animation is going to be exported as a separate image. So that means this three and a half second animation will be exported as 85 image files. And that's just easy to handle if it's all in a single folder. I'll name this folder image sequence and click create. And with the image sequence folder selected, I'll click save. After clicking save, there are a few more settings to look at. Just like before, size and resolution are set to the size of your stage by default, and you can change that if you want without losing quality because Adobe Animate uses vector graphics. In the next drop down menu, make sure full document size is selected, which will export only what you see on the stage. If you select minimum image area, it will export everything, including anything that's outside the stage, and we don't really want that. Colors should be set to 32 bit because these other settings don't support transparency. To explain this very simply, a bigger number means more colors are stored in the image file. So the bigger the number, the less compression is applied to the images. And finally, this checkbox at the bottom tells Adobe Animate to apply smoothing to the image. And I usually just keep that turned on. We'll click export and I'll go over to my folder where you can see that these PNGs have all been exported with a transparent background. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, like the video if you found it helpful, and check out my Adobe Animate playlist for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.